Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today is a special one because we're talking about UPBGE, which is to say the Blender game engine, the updated version, uh, which might come as a surprise to a lot of you because the Blender game engine's deprecated. It hasn't seen the light of day since like 2.7 something. Turns out some people have been maintaining it and uh, making it compatible with not only Blender version 3, but even stuff as recent as 3.6. I thought, uh, I'm going to learn the game engine and teach it to you guys. So let's make video games in Blender. Um, so before we talk about installation and all that, I just did, I just wanted to make a quick demo just to show you what is possible. Now, I don't want you to think that this is like a great game or anything, but just a bit of a test. Uh, you can see I made a basic scene where we can move around our cube, spin around the camera, and basically jump up and down. And when we die, we respawn, okay? So not a complicated game, but I think this is what I want to start off by teaching. Uh, because it also has physics, uh, you can see there's gravity and all that, and uh, some basic uh, mechanics. So this isn't a complicated game. In fact, we'll probably be able to make this in a tutorial or two, uh, but just so you know. Okay, uh, before we start this tutorial series, and this is just going to be the very, very basics, uh, what I want you to do is go to upbge.org, uh, which is to say the Wonder Game Engine, okay? Go to download, and you're going to see a version for Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever, and that's version uh, 0.3, I believe, which is fairly recent. It's uh, compatible up to Blender 3.0, but the issue is some of the geometry nodes updates aren't there. If you want, like, you know, the newest version, uh, check out development, although I've found a couple issues with it, because it's in a mix of alpha and beta, so we would uh, expect that. Uh, but when you download this, you're basically going to get a folder that looks something like this. And instead of Blender, you get Blender with this weird logo. You're going to launch that, and uh, this is what you get. It looks like stock Blender, but there's a difference. You're going to see if I open up this window, we have a whole bunch of editors that you're not used to. The Logic Bricks editor, uh, the Logic Bricks node view, and most importantly for us, uh, the Logic node editor. Uh, so it turns out that to make video games, we can use nodes, which is very convenient because the last like 200 tutorials I've made have been about nodes. So make sure you have this downloaded. And the second thing I want you to do is you might be freaking out. You're like, I don't have this window. Second thing you want to do is go to edit, go to preferences, and then in add-ons, you're going to see a whole bunch of add-ons that have this logo, which is to say these are add-ons that are relevant to the game engine. I just want you to type in game engine or just game, and I want you to make sure you have Bricky nodes enabled, that you especially have no Logic Nodes Plus enabled, since that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys. There's basically two systems to make games here. I prefer the Node Network one. And then third of all, uh, Game Engine Publishing, which is going to let you actually uh, publish your games. Uh, with these three things, we can make a very basic game. So before this tutorial wraps up, let's just make the dumbest game, just so you know that you can export a game. And then in the future, we'll make a real video game. Okay? So once you have all these add-ons, I want you to open up the Logic Node Editor. And just like any other Node Editor, we just click New. Let me actually go uh, full screen with this. Toggle full screen. Uh, so you can see we have a logic node editor. I'm just going to call this my nodes. And just like every other editor, shift A to add nodes, and you're going to see all these weird nodes like physics nodes, logic nodes, whatever. We'll get to that, but I don't want you to be overwhelmed. All we're going to do is we're going to start off with a cube. We're going to apply this logic nodes, and then in the dashboard, you want to click apply to selected, which is to say this node network is going to this object, and then finally, Last step is we're going to use one of the presets. So if you scroll down, you're going to see there's a node template, and we can make more. But one of the node templates is kind of the most convenient one. It's for key movement. The moment you click this, it's going to add a bunch of nodes. And in the next episode, I'm going to show you how to do this yourself, uh, because it's kind of like a lot of nodes all at once, and we don't really know why they're there and what order they're in. Uh, but just a bit of general structure. You can see some of these are saying when D is pressed, when A is pressed, W. This is WASD, and it's going to let us move up, down, left, and right, as you'd expect. But really, all I want you to do is have these nodes present. We'll talk about how to add them later. Uh, and when you have those, just click Compile All so that it's, you know, compiling. And again, make sure you have Apply to Selected, uh, Selected. And then uh, in the 3D viewport, you just hit the letter P. Uh, which is going to open up a rendered view, but it's interactive. So you can see now I'm using WASD. A little hard to tell since it's not on camera. Uh, but rest assured, I am controlling uh, this cube. If I wanted to, 
very quickly. I can open up one of these things. Instead of W for forwards, I could use the letter T or something like this. And then I just run again, and now I'm hitting T. You can't see it, but I am hitting T on the keyboard, and it's doing that. So you have a very, very basic game. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have this game exported just so you have a project that is compiled and ready to go. And again, we'll make better games in the future. Once you're ready to export, just go to File, go to Export, and on the bottom, assuming you have the add-on I told you to enable, you're going to see Save as Game Runtime. You're going to click that, and then on the desktop, I'm going to make a new directory, call it First Garbage Game, since that's what this is, and then we're going to give it a name, like First Garbage Game Sucks.exe. You're going to click Save as Game Engine, which is going to freeze Blender for a moment, so you want to give it like a second or two. Uh, it's not only saving this uh, file, but it's giving the, oh, a bunch of scripts and directories and stuff like this. It's basically exporting an entire game that you can run as an EXE. Uh, so in a second, you will see that it is done, still frozen for me. Okay, it looks like it's done. Window, exit out of full screen, and then on the desktop, you should see a new directory, First Garbage Game. Uh, when you open it, you're going to see a whole bunch of nonsense. The only thing you care about is this thing, the EXE. You double click it, it's going to launch. Again, we didn't set any settings for this uh, specifically. So you're just gonna get a window where we do WASD and we have a game. Of course, this doesn't have a menu. It doesn't really have an escape function. It doesn't have anything really. Uh, we'll work on that. We, di we didn't even set it to full screen for fuck's sake. But that that is how you make your very basic game. In the future, we'll talk about more specifics, so uh, come along with me and I'll show you how to make a video game.